Okay, so we're in my basement. I got this thing hooked up to my battery. And, uh, I'll give you guys kind of some little information on it. Don't rely on this as a primary source of navigation. Alright, so we're going to go pages. We'll do. I'll just show you guys the scan. So I gotta go to menu. Continue the sonar. Settings. Simulator simulates. So as you can see, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see the gradient, but. Coming up here, here's a school of bait fish sitting on like a log or a lay down. There's a rock pile there, you can see the actual rocks. And then you got some more little bait balls right there sitting on the bottom. And uh, it's just, this is just pretty much all this is grass. You can see like up in there is a pocket in the grass. Again, you're going to see some more bait right here at about 15 feet. And what I can do is. If I want to, what's cool about this is it's uh, I can drag my sonar all the way back. Now I say, oh, I like this school of bait right here. So, and I like this school of bait sitting on the log. So I, I might want to come back later and fish the log. All I have to do is hit enter and get a new waypoint made. But uh, then we can take our cursor, catch back up to our sonar. Alright, so right now we're, you know, in roughly 25 feet of water. Uh, again, you got some rocks right here. Good, decent little rock pile. Got a little, little bait. A couple little bait balls right there. More bait stacking up on a lay down again. And this is just starting to come up into a little bit of grass and a little bit of hard bottom, as you can see there, a little bit. The whiter that it is, the harder the bottom is. We got a couple sticks sticking up right here, and I'm hoping it's gonna get to a tree, so you guys can really, really see what uh, what a tree looks like. But it also it'll give you your water temp, your speed, and then your depth. Uh, again, another little school of bait with a stick sticking up right there, and I see another good stick that uh that I liked right. But no, uh, let me get in the middle of the screen so you guys can see it. Not blocked by the numbers. Right off here, this would be a good spot to fish. This would be a good little spot to throw like a fluke, because this is just a this is grass with just like a small strand of grass. Bass could possibly be sitting down in there waiting for stuff. But we're gonna catch back up to our sonar here. And we got a huge ball of bait right here. Just sitting on a little weeds. Some more rocks. Uh, Alright, so now if I want to get out here, all I got to do is go to pages. And this is what I normally fish with. Uh, this is just Powers Lake. I already got Powers pulled up on here. Gonna be the first lake that I fish this year anyway. But I'll, this is, I already know the spot where we were catching all those gills. It's way back in here, right about here. So as you can see, the sonar is still going to be running. And then I can take, take my uh, GPS and zoom way in here. And, you know, if I wanted to, I can make a waypoint or whatever. But uh, it's pretty nice. And if you go pages... Uh, if you hit pages and like, oh, I accidentally didn't want to hit pages, and then you can just hit, hit pages again and bring it back to the sonar. But then you got this little navigation thing that tells you your distance, your nautical miles, your temperature, and uh, your speed. It gets you a good little compass thing, and it can it keep you. It's good for keeping yourself on trail. Then you can get just your GPS back out of the lake.
And as you can see, you know, you got all your contours. Show you guys this neat little, oh, show you guys this neat little spot that I just found that I never even knew was in this lake until I, uh, until I got this. So there's a, there's a sandbar, and here's the bay that we were catching, that we were catching, uh, I caught a couple good two-pounders in here, but up here, it's interesting, this, this right here is actually a really good spot to fish, because if you can see, it's seven feet on top of this gravel pile, it's like seven, here, I'll get you up close, focus in there, seven feet on top of the gravel pile, and it literally just drops off the face of the planet. 20 to 25 instantly so that's probably a good spot to fish and another one right here is just these nine foot humps I knew about those though um, yeah but this is pretty much just you know kind of a little review on this unit you got two of them gonna this one's probably gonna go with the trolling motor I mean it doesn't really matter but trolling motor or bow either one or, uh, not bow, uh, trolling motor or console, so, I'll have good GPS this year, one I have to have, one I have to deal with that hummingbird turd that I had, so, then if you want to go pages, back to, back to sonar, and anything that I missed, scroll back here, see if we missed any good logs, nope, just same bait pile. Catch up to your Jeep, catch up to your sonar. Again, we're in some weeds. I mean, it pretty much just runs the same simulator. I don't know why I can't. I kind of wanted to get it a stick on here, but uh, all you people that like Navionics, this thing is Navionics capable. Just slide your microchip in there. It says Elite 5. And uh, you can lock that in. Uh, this has been another episode of Fishing Wisconsin 2012, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you all have a good new year and had a good Christmas. Uh, I know I did when I picked up two of these babies yesterday at Cabela's. So, uh, I'm Fishing Wisconsin, and I'll see you guys.